Hey Pisces, Everlong Mystic here. We're gonna answer some questions. All right, so first question is, what is something important that you need to pay attention to? And we're gonna answer that with the brand new version of the Musical Alchemy of Astrology. All right, Pisces, something important that you need to pay attention to right now? And right now is just whenever you're seeing the video. Compose, okay. So we have card number 72, it's house nine of expansion. Sorry, my eye is itchy. Oof. Okay, so <clears throat> we have keyword reprogramming here, studying techniques, pursuing more knowledge, walking new views, mental relocation. Yeah, there's some... Okay, so Pisces, what you're supposed to be paying attention to right now that's important is things, things that seem different. Because it almost seems as if... That's where you're supposed to go. Some of you are just improving on what you are already doing, but I feel like some of you are like going in a different direction or you 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 just like it's like noticing something like man, something seems off and then investigating it and then it leads somewhere, right? So the light and the dark of it here, we have I am composed versus I am confused. So the direction I, I believe we're supposed to be looking at here is kind of like a studi studious, higher learning, thirst for knowledge, um, maybe even journeying into higher realms for some kind of transformation. Um, <clears throat> we want to be mindful of thinking that, thinking that you're already done. No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> Uh, being lazy, um, just being happy in your stasis, just like, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna veg, I'm just gonna rot, I'm just gonna stagnate right here, yeah, no, you're not, don't do that, um, yeah, just thinking that you're done, so, like, and also, like, be wary of nostalgia when it becomes a little bit toxic here, because, um, change is the, I mean, the only constant, right, all right. So, let's get your other questions. So, for Pisces, what are Pisces questions? No, we're not taking those. I wasn't quite shuffled enough. What are Pisces questions? Man, you have a lot of questions. All these cards just want to pop out. Oof. All right. All right, how can I increase my value within blank? What is the romantic potential of this relationship? Love and connections. All right, so that's connected. Should I act or pause in this moment? Hmm. All righty, so. Now, for this question, I'm going to alter the question here, Pisces. Um, I don't like the way it's worded. How can I increase my value within blank? I, um, I just, I don't know. I feel like it has, it's kind of leading to external validation or um, putting value outside yourself. So, I'm just going to answer, how can I increase my value within? Not within something else, just within. How can I increase my value within? Because that's more important. I think Virgo had that question too. You have to answer this question to cross the Virgo-Pisces bridge. 
All right, how can I increase my value within? Was it, was it Virgo? I don't know. I never remember what I read. All right. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups, and this um, reminds me of what uh, Awakening to Spirit usually says, which is just be gentle with yourself. This is gentle. It's being kind. There's a kindness here. It's like if you're, you know, like if you're, <laughs> what is it, Shel what does Sheldon do? He makes a hot beverage. Like if you're not feeling well, make yourself a hot beverage. <laughs> be nice to yourself. So it's self-care, right? Ooh, this is about your this is about your cycles. This is about your like we have the world, right? So with the world, it's like we have this cycle completing kind of energy, but it's also like about wholeness. This is is about being whole, like I being able to identify where your empty spots are. What needs to be filled, right? Cuz a lot of times just as people, we will attempt to fill those holes uh, by whatever means but like you're actually feeling like it's it's because you're missing something um inside right something that you're not giving yourself or allowing yourself to have so it might be something to think about right and here so we have the sun and this is do not neglect or avoid any opportunity to express happiness, to express joy, to be happy. Like, it's, I, I just, sometimes, and not not you, Pisces, but like people in general, they, it's like they have no idea, most of them have no idea just how much more life is enjoyable when you are focusing on the things like that you like, the things that make you happy, as opposed to what pisses you off, what sucks, what's you know what I mean? Like, I like, I, it's it's amazing. Like people don't get it. I run into these people all the time, not so much in like this kind of community, but like just public at large, or you know what I mean. But anyway, there's your reminder. So next question: What is the romantic potential? of this relationship. So, you know, a relationship, it kind of, um, insinuates that there's already, like, you've already met this person, you, you know them already, okay? So, what's the romantic potential of this person you already know? So you have the three of emotions. That's too many people. We need more cards. That's too many people. It's crowded. There's something, something too, it's too crowded. <laughs> So we've got, okay, so I want to say that we've got someone here that's maybe part of your friend group, and you're kind of wanting to know if there's any possibility of romance. If if there is, you're definitely going to be uh, have to look at something a little bit different here. Yeah, but you're, it's going to be tricky because you're going to have to do it in a way that you're not fooling yourself. So you're going to have to put your, it's almost like putting your desires aside and just looking at the facts and just doing that is going to give you that different perspective. And I feel like you'll get your answer here. But there's, there's some kind of um, mask or something that needs to be taken off before you can really find out for sure. 
for some of you, like, dude, three's a crowd. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> All right. Love and connections. In general, love and connections. For Pisces. Love and connections for Pisces. Nine of Cups. I like that. <laughs> All right, Nine of Cups. So I feel like this is the energy here that, um, like, where you're at your best, Pisces. Like when you are. It, 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 it's weird. It almost feels like a trick, right? It's like, well, I'm looking for love, and I'm looking for connections with people, and that's what I want, and I don't have it. But like, you have to. Like, and that's what's gonna make me happy, but like you have to, you are, you have to find happiness within before you're gonna, con I don't know, you know what I mean? Um, there's been a whole, like, I don't know, the last three or four readings, there's been something about, like, either manifesting or the law of attraction here, and I don't know if, I don't know, that's weird, I mean, I don't do a lot of those readings, but... That seems to be the case here. It's like, um, if you embody that feeling of, I am love, I am loved, I love, right? Then the, the, the love and the connections just pop into your life. They drop into your lap. You know what I mean? And here we have Eight of Cups. So as these opportunities for love and connections pop into your lap drop out of the sky right this is where discernment um takes over it's like what are you gonna do what are you gonna do pisces are you just gonna jump on every one of them gobble them all up <laughs> or are you gonna use your discernment and and like be good to yourself be kind to yourself and like, not jump on the ones that really, like, you you deserve better than that, right? So it's about, is this about managing your desperation? I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> or your cravings. Managing your cravings? Maybe that's it. Then we have Child of Cups, and this is about keeping it innocent, keeping it pure, right? Keeping it innocent and pure doesn't always have to be doesn't always have to be dirty Pisces all right so should I act or pause in this moment and so you're thinking of a moment right you're thinking of a moment do you do something about it or do you wait for Pisces do they act or do they pause I feel like it's act, but let's see the cards. Well, whatever it is, it's going to be the right thing. We have justice. It's fair. It's good. Crack and open the truth there. Night of inspiration. It's act, Pisces. <laughs> Look at that. All right, so we got fireworks. We got the running horse. This is yeah, night of inspiration. What does he do? He's like one of the first ones out of the out of the gate, right? Dang, success. We have the emperor here. This is this is success. This is yeah. I I got this in the bag. I got this in the bag. I know what I'm doing. You know what you're doing? Alright, yeah. Don't pause, Pisces. Why Why delay success, right? Don't be afraid of it. Alright, so Pisces, these are, these are the answers to these very good questions. And 
I am so glad you're here for it. And I'll see you next time. Bye, Pisces.